Hello everybody, Tarak37 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lord's Restored Content Mod. Last time, Atten became a Jedi. Something up. So that's cool. Alright, what did you want to know? Um, yeah. He's, um, he's a Jedi now, so technically we actually don't need him anymore. I can just send him back to the docking bay, I guess. Um, uh, t -t 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 who do I want to replace him with? I don't know, maybe T3? That'd be fun to have T3 and HK47 together. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <sighs> okay. We're stuck with him for now. Um, alright, we're going to talk to everybody, including Otis. Hey, you look like a spacer. You work at the docks? Uh, no, I don't. Why? Because if you need a crew, I'm your man. I flew during the Mandalorian Wars, and again during the Jedi Civil War. Oh, you served in the war? Yes. And look where I ended up. Why aren't you still flying? You need a pilot's license to fly the freighters here. They're tough to get without sponsorship. Well, if I hear of anyone looking for a pilot, I'll refer them to you. I'd greatly appreciate that. Alright, so now... Sergeant Karana. Greetings. Are you the spacer we were told about? Uh, spacer? No, I'm Endak. Oh. We were expecting one of the pilots from the dock sometime soon to come and get us off Nar Shaddaa. He is late. I don't know where he is. Um, I might be able to track him down for you. Thank you. To be honest, I don't even know his name. Some guy named Planor said he had a pilot friend who would take us for 500 credits. Uh, and how much did Planor charge you for this information? 50 credits. Why? I suspect Planor scammed you. I was afraid of that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. I'll try to find someone for you, though. Thank you. I'm beginning to lose hope that we'll ever get out of here. Yeah, this is not a good place. Um... Alright, Kevin. Ah, uh, sure. What is it? Oh, thanks for the tip. 20 credits. Not bad. Got plenty of credits. Ah, uh, it's a refugee. Ah, uh, Nada. Are you one of Sakwesh's men? Did you take my daughter? Well, slow down. Tell me what happened. The overseer. Sakwesh, he took my daughter to sell to the Huts, all because I told him I could not pay his tribute. Uh, can I help you get her back? I owe Sakwesh 600 credits. I, I don't have enough. I could pay your debt for you. You would? Oh, thank you. Please, hurry. If he's already delivered her to the Huts, it will be impossible to find her. I think I've heard that voice before. I don't know where. I mean, it could just be that there's a lot of people with uh, uh, Husef. Welcome, traveler. You My name's look Husef. very different from uh, how I I try I to look out you. for the other refugees. I see you're a stranger here. Watch your step and uh, keep to the camp. Uh, why is that? You've got the Serico refugees over on the Skyward side. They're veterans from the Serico campaign and don't take kind to strangers. And on the inner side, you've got the Overseer and his exchange. They've been pushing us refugees pretty hard lately. How do they get along? Those two have a truce. Neither side wants to mess with the other. Did the Serico ever bother you? Only if we enter their territory. It makes things a little tight here in the camp. Not much room to move. What does the exchange do to the refugees? Occasionally, their thugs kidnap people and sell them into slavery with the huts. They've also hemmed us in. We used to live all throughout this area, but they've crammed us all in here now. Hmm. Is there anything I could help you with? If you could convince either the Exchange or the Serico to give us more space, that would really help a lot. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Good luck. All right. This. Oh, Another Ada. refugee? I'm sad to see another join our ranks. I lost my husband Lutra long ago in the Jedi Civil War. 
You lost your husband? What happened? When Telos was bombarded by the Sith, some of us were able to escape on in-system shuttles. We floated in orbit for weeks before we were picked up by Republic capital ships. Why did the Sith let the in-system shuttles survive? I think the Sith wanted witnesses to what happened to Telos. And I've been drifting from planet to planet ever since, only to end up here with nowhere left to go. Well, if there's any way I can help, let me know. You were kind to offer, but unless you can return my husband to me, there is little that you can do. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll be going. Yeah, about the whole bringing your husband back. Technically, yeah, he's... okay. So we're going to deal with both Serico and the um, uh, and the exchange. Uh, the exchange, I am sorely tempted to just do my to not try the peaceful solution, given what the exchange has been doing, and we're in the exchange quarters now. Also, because I don't really want to pay Sakwesh anything. Hi. Hi. Hello, Sakwesh. Well, maybe you ought to start bathing. I'd like to talk to you about Adana. Why do you hold Adana? You will let... Uh, no. I would like to settle the debt in exchange for Adana's freedom. Does this matter? I want to help. I want to help. That is 1,000 credits. Hmm... Her attitude, she'll be hard to sell. I'll give you 600. Yeah, I know that's the real. Okay, there, I did the light side thing. And I didn't. I don't understand what that accomplished, but if it makes you feel better, fine. Uh, we just saved someone from slavery. I would say that that's probably, you know, the, that that's accomplishing something, I would say. Man, right, uh, what's in here? Uh, ooh, right, the boxes with stuff in them. Hey, uh, just say the word. Wait here. Let's see here. No. And I feel no qualms about, you know stealing from the exchange given okay Atten you need to be able to move buddy what's going on what the f okay um something's up here I can't see a darn thing there we go something was up with stealth jeez alright Oh, sweet life support pack. There we go. Honestly, I do kind of want to make a big splash and, against the exchange, and probably the easiest and potentially best way would be to just, just say the words. Wait here. Deal with the exchange, because I don't like the exchange. I really You're don't. Bizarre. They're basically just the huts, but not run by the huts. So. You know what? Yeah, no, I'm... I'll open this door, if I can. Oh, it's magnetically sealed. I'm just gonna go over to Sakwesh and basically just try and antagonize him until he has no choice but to try to kill me. And then we're just gonna free up all this space for the refugees. This time. Are you the one running this place? 
Hmm. Stop pressuring the refugees, or I will be forced to kill you. Ah. Well then, you're not that bright, are you? More where that came from. Everyone down. Well, that fixed that problem. Because, let's be honest, uh, these guys suck. So let's just clear this place out. And also we won't have to worry about, you know, them guarding the freaking metal boxes. And if Adana's not already out, which I believe she should be, given that we paid the 600 credits. Um, okay, guess I'll just have to... Hmm. Ooh. Sometimes the pathing is not the best. Alright. Security door. Use lightsaber. Fringe benefit of um, lightsabers. Is there a universal. Uh, universal lockpick? Oh, hey, HK. All right, attributes, um, dex. Um, um, yeah, we're gonna try to max out awareness, and then, yeah. How close am I? Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right. See, interestingly enough, you would think that this would actually be pretty much the... Where that came from? Where that came from? Oops. All right. All right. Um, Patton. I hear you. Pure Bazaar. Ooh, Jaw Shea Belt. Nice. I think in a previous video I mistakenly called Pure my armor uh, Zisan Shah when it actually is uh, Jaw Shea. Let me take care of this. Pure Pazak. And just credits, which, you know, not gonna say no to credits. Exarcoon's Light Battle Suit, which I think if you read the description, it basically says it's probably not his suit, but oh my gosh, actually, and there we go. All right, now we go to Cer to Cerico territory. And there, and there, we are actually, I think, going to try to be diplomatic, because they're more just kind of not wanting to, uh, you know, they're just kind of very territorial. So, I don't, as, as far as I'm aware, they're not doing anything evil. But this is Serico territory. Get out of here before we space you. Got it? 
I wanted to speak to your leader. That's a laugh. Look, blow out of here like space dust, or you'll be a new stain on the cargo hold. Exchange has been getting in his way. I want to help him gain the upper hand. All right, you can go see him. Try anything, and you'll never make it out. All right. Uh, should I tell him Hurry that? Hurry up and take care of your I, I just... All right. I heard you've been looking for me. I don't like how you've been bullying the refugees. Well, that's too bad. Is that all you wanted to say? Stop harassing the refugees. Hmm. Then what would you propose me and my men do? I don't care. Just leave them alone. All right. We'll lay off a bit. Good. Thanks. Also disarm, but whatever. I imagine they don't actually. Okay. Um, stall the navigation interface. I suck at computers. I should not be the one doing this. Uh, unlock the expert. Hey, let me take care of that for you. All right, I'll let the expert handle this. Expert? I like the sound of that. Right. Uh, that's why you need probably Bayo... Why well, I want a Bayo door. All done. In. Or maybe T3 and 4. Uh, examine the expert. Still needs maneuvering flaps in the energy cells. Yep. Yep. There. I know where to get the energy cells. That's, a, that's over by the docks. Um... Well, hey, we got the <laughs> we got the Serico to at least leave them alone. They're kind of uh, a holes, but you know, um, as far as I'm aware, they haven't been horrible beyond just being incredibly territorial. I'm hoping that that's a good way to do it, the because I don't want to just you know slaughter two entire factions, especially since the Serico seem to be refugees from the planet Serico. So. Yeah, we'll just have to, uh... Just have to hope that's good enough. Thank you so much for returning my Adana to me. Oh, sweet. Level up. Thank you. Unarmed Specialist 5. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna put one point in computer use because that meets the Master Heal. Yes. Master of Healing. Alright, um, because that technically meets the requirements that Kraya put forth of in improve your worst skill. And lo and behold, we have improved our worst skill. I'm going to talk to this guy and see what he thinks. Thanks for taking care of Sockwash. I fear what the exchange might do next, though. Uh, is there anything I could help you with? You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. I imagine you had something to do with the Serico backing off a bit. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out. Uh, anything else I could help you with? You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. Great. Um, Thank you for helping out Adana. I was worried about what would happen to her. Oh, that was my pleasure. Um, Gariel says you saved his life. Maybe all of our lives. Oh, how are the exchange? The exchange isn't much in this area anymore. Just the Serico. Anything I can help you, you with? You already have. Oh, I, I could have sworn you'd get something from him. I think you have to antagonize the Serico. Hello. Secret back entrance. Gotta love it. Hello. I'm gonna see if I can't talk to this guy, and pretty much I am going to attack him. Listen, him. I've already agreed to disarm. No chance. All right. Actually, this is probably a better solution in the long run. Because if you think about it, um, the second I leave, 
what are the odds that these guys are just gonna go right back? Like, why... Why should they stay not hurting the refugees? Looking... I might just be justifying it to myself because, you know, I have gone officially just gone for the violent path despite saying that I won't go on the violent path, but that guy seemed really interested in just like, why should I not bully the refugees? It's like, I, why should you? <gasps> Ooh, that's new. Hold on. Nath clothing. Cowling. Aw, oh, man. Uh, dyed with water from the tainted Lake Nath on Ambria, these robes infuse the wearer a trace of the dark powers contained within the lake. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was in the uh, Knights of the Old Republic, or not Knights of the Old it was like, I think, Tales of the Jedi, Knights of the Old Republic collection. It was this collection of comics. Um talking about some of the Knights of the Old Republic, like uh, Ulit Keldroma and Nomi Sunrider. Um, interesting thing about that is that at that point in time, the Jedi didn't seem to have a problem with other Jedi getting married and having kids. They were just like, they seemed to not really care at the time. A master could have multiple Padawans. Um, they were a lot more active in the galaxy and just in general and then the problem and then Ulit Keldroma went dark and that was partially because another Jedi went to dark um, and became a uh, new Sith Lord after uh, and kind of he basically became the new Sith Lord after a um, uh God, my brain, my brain is putting the pieces together for some reason. Um, Let's settle this. Uh, I can't talk about this. Um, I think it was Exar Kun uh, ended up trapped on uh, Korriban and an ancient Sith. Um, spirit started screwing around with him and making him um, and basically made him call on the dark side of the force and basically convinced him to become a Sith and then the Sith attacked uh, Ulit's master uh, died and as a result, Ulik went full dark side. Unfortunately. Well, no, wait, no. Uh, Ulik uh, decided he was going to infiltrate the Sith. And Say the word. basically uh, destroy it from within, which every Jedi has that idea. Seemingly. And the problem is... Um, in order to get high enough in the ranks to destroy the Sith, Just say the word. you have to do a lot of terrible, terrible things for them to believe that you are on the dark path. And the thing is, because you're doing these terrible things, you are going on the dark path. Like, by, like, you can justify it all you want as I'm just trying to get in close, you are still doing terrible things to, um, uh, you're still doing these terrible things and people are getting hurt, hurt and suffering because of your actions. So, yeah, basically that is one of the stories of one of the Sith Wars, and, and, um, Exar Kun was not redeemed. Um, Exar Kun was not redeemed, but Ulit Keldroma was. Although, he kind of had to suffer a lot and cause a lot of suffering before he was 
redeemed and ended up uh, helping the Jedi end the war and defeat Exar Kun and you know, save the galaxy. But unfortunately, um, yeah, unfortunately, um, in the process, uh, Ulik ended up killing his brother Kay. And Nomi Sunrider, who had, I believe, uh, her husband had died um, a long time ago, and she become, and he had made the case for her to become a Jedi Knight because she was strong, of course, and she had, she was actually naturally gifted in battle meditation, um, which is neither here nor there. Anyway, point is, she had fallen in love with Ulic at some point uh, before he went dark. And seeing him kill his own brother, she called upon the Force to do something that, in this game, is established Jedi don't do lightly. Uh, she cut him off from the Force. Basically, uh, I believe it's described as basically shielding that person in light uh, and deafening them to the Force. It is something that the Jedi have the ability to do, but... Um, do rarely because I think, as pointed out earlier in the game, it's seen as incredibly cruel to do. Oh, that. hello again. What can I do for you? Uh, how do the Serico and Exchange get along? With the Serico wiped out and the Exchange driven from this area, it's not an issue anymore. Anything I could help you with? You've already helped us greatly. Could have sworn he was supposed to give you something, or maybe that I don't know. Well, I that basically achieved. Well, it, it helped. They're both they're both entire completely free. The both like the both areas are um, open to them, other than the um, Gamorians and remnants of the exchange from this area. Prejudice. Uh, no master heal. All right. So yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Ulic got cut off from the Force and ended up helping the Jedi to, uh, <laughs> uh, defeat the Sith, including, uh, taking out a, uh, super weapon known as the Dark Reaper, um, which is, uh, very, um, which was a very dangerous, uh, Sith super weapon. More where that came from. That's my volume a little bit. Seemed a bit loud. My ears. Hopefully it wasn't too loud to yours. Um, let's see. Oh, how did force play must have done it? Oh hey, and this way is now open. Sweet. Right. Um, but yeah, that is the story of a bit of the story of Ulit Caldroma. And uh, the I forget which Sith Wars it was that um, w there were there was too many Sith Wars in Legends. That's it's just a fact. Um, all right. So uh, next stop are the docks where we will uh, do some more jobs, talk to a hut, and then after that it's dealing with the aftermath of our ship. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you have a nice day. Bye.